Welcome to the Gold Hill Hotel, Nevada's oldest hotel dating back to 1859. Once was home for many of the working miners in town, until a horrifying fire broke out at the Yellow Jacket Mine back in 1869. Families watched the mine burn, knowing that nobody would make it out alive. Most bodies were recovered and given a proper burial, but reports say that 11 bodies still remain in the mine to this day. Could the reported hauntings at the Gold Hill be the spirits of those forgotten miners? Ask the locals and they may tell you that the real spirit who haunts this hotel is a lady of the night. She goes by the name of Rosie, and she's quick to make her presence known. Two haunted rooms, two nights. Let's put it to the test and see how active this hotel really is. Welcome back to Ghost Club, everybody. If you know that sound already, then you know that the REM pod is going off like crazy. We're kind of wondering if we wanted to investigate it tonight because we're so, so tired. And then Michael suggested just stick the REM pod on and see what happens. In our investigation last night, it did not go off once. So I was like, okay, I'll stick it on. And this is actually what's going on. If there is something here, it's definitely like investigate tonight. We're gonna see if it's something explainable. Nothing? No. Okay, so yeah, like by the light switch here. Mm -hmm. 1.6, 1.7. Um. So you can see that there's an electrical current coming from the light switch, but the reading is a zero over here. Thought maybe it would be that, but nope. This is like all messed up, because obviously we weren't ready for an investigation right now. We were just like, just stick it on. Um, another weird thing that, one reason why we're like, we should really just investigate here tonight. Um, Michael actually came into my room and he was looking into this mirror and he was playing Bloody Mary <laughs> <laughs> in my mirror. And um, he actually pointed this out. He was like, what is that on top of your mirror? Jade has this something above her mirror in her hotel room. What does that mean? A bone above a mirror? I don't touch it. Oh, well, I stayed here last night. Like, <laughs> nothing happened, but that's weird. I don't want to. We'll take it off and let's see if something happens tonight. What is it? It's a bone. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, it's like a, like a little hip bone or something. Why is it above your mirror? Touch it. Ow! Touch it. Ow! Touch it. Ow! <laughs> you broke it. <laughs> You did? No! You, oh my god. You are not gonna live through the night. Oh no. Whatever was locked in that mirror is coming through. And I played, I just played Bloody Mary in that mirror too. Oh. <laughs> There's a bone on top of the mirror here. I have no idea what that means. I tried to Google it and I couldn't find anything on that. What did you just do? I zeroed it out to see if it would happen again, if it would continue. Is there anybody here with us right now? Can you go and touch the device again and make it light up for us? Oh my gosh, that's so funny. You can actually see in the background here, if you look through the window, that's like the ghost tour <laughs> that's happening right now. <laughs> Room five is said to be very haunted by a miner who died in a fire and his name is William. So maybe we're making communication with William. Um, also earlier today when Michael came into the room, um, my bathroom light was on. In here, he said that he saw it flickering. The, the light flashing um, was something that happened in both of them. Mm -hmm. so. With the room next door, Rosie's room, people have said that they smell roses, that she likes to like play tricks, like hide objects, move objects. With this room, it was William, William that haunts it, you would usually smell tobacco, 
Mm -hmm. And there's times where people have been locked out of their room. Like he likes to play tricks and lock the doors. Um, and also, just to add on the smell of tobacco, um, I mean, I slept here last night, as you can see here. <laughs> Your room's all like nice and neat and like the bed's made and stuff and I'm just like whatever. But today I did actually get a really really strong smell of tobacco. Okay, so it's just me in here. All the ghost hunters are outside right now. This is very very awkward. Do you know why this bone is here? Can you make that light up green for yes? I really want to know the significance behind that bone. So Michael is uh, away to go get some equipment just now and uh, come back here and uh, yeah, I guess we're starting the investigation now. Again, very, very tired today, um, but you know what? Oh, we don't get to decide when spirits want to communicate. So here we are. What are you eating? Jelly Belly Sucker. What'd you just call me? Anything happening? Nothing's happening. Mother. Yeah, I moved the rent pod onto the beds. I think it was a fluke. I think it might have been a fluke. Because I was talking, like, trying to get it to go off again and... Nothing. Nothing. It's not a fluke! Really it's not, not a fluke! <laughs> That's weird. Okay, I'm gonna put the spirit portal on over there and um, see if anything comes through. Bed. Did I say your bed? I thought I heard bed, something bed. I thought I heard your bed. I need you to be as clear as pos possible. So how many people are here with us right now? Can you tell me how many people I'm talking to? <laughs> Phone conversation. conversation. Yeah, it's kind of like a phone conversation. Are you here with us in the room right now? Or are you tapping in from somewhere else? Can you say if you're here? Can you say here? You can touch that REM pod again, make it go off. To show that you're here with us as well. I hear what it said. I know. Okay, I'm moving the bone again. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna move it. What? It's that same female voice. I'm gonna place this here. Do you know anything about this? <laughs> Can you say what's on top of the box right there? Can you tell me what that's called? It sounded like I think they were having an affair. That's what it sounded like. Did it sound like that to you? It was like, yeah, it was like Anna. I thought it said Anna friend, but an affair. Oh. Did somebody have an affair here? Well, because they say that Rosie was a prostitute or lady of the night. It's kind of her she, her gig. Yeah, that's that's really true. Rosie, are you here with us? Can you come through the spirit portal? Thanks for communicating through the REM pod. We definitely appreciate that. Can you say your name through the box over there? At this point. At this point? Well, if you got to tell us about the affair. <laughs> this just randomly started moving? You see the curtain? It wasn't moving before. Hi, 
Who's watching you? Wow. Are you watching us right now? Are you happy where you are, Rosie? It's so weird. Like, these are... Okay, so the spirit portal, I usually hear, like, a couple of words, but there are, like, actual, like, full sentences that yeah. keep coming through. I just wish that they were a little bit clearer. Sounds like the same woman, too. Definitely. It's like that same female that just keeps coming through. Okay, so I had to make the bed because that was, like, actually really bugging me so bad. So... Same thing though, the red pod is going off like crazy right now. I keep resetting it and um, so it stops and it just keeps going. You're not blindfold, right? It sounded like, is there anyone here? Something along those lines, anyone here? What do you, what do I need to bring? Just headphones? Just headphones and I'll just use a spirit box. Ready? Are you ready? I'm... I'm just tired tonight. I know. I'm running off of three hours sleep. Yeah. So that's fun. Is there anybody that wants to say hello? That actually happens. Chemicals? What happened? That was the female talking, by the way. It's like going crazy, crazy. Are you touching that? Did you live here? Remember me, love. Can you turn that off? It sounded like it just went shh. Yeah, that's what I want. I want it to be quiet. Can you make it be quiet? I'm trying. Well, thank you for trying. Now it just changed after it said I'm trying. Can you touch Jade? I'm feeling really dizzy. Oh, it just went real high. It's going it crazy. It's cold. Can you tap Jade on the shoulder? Not yet. Will you do it later tonight? wait for the moment. Okay, we're gonna wait for you to tap her on the shoulder tonight then. So that sounded like it was a very successful uh, SS method. I will definitely have to review that footage, but the REM pod is still going off insane. So I'm gonna change the battery and I'm gonna test that one to see if it's maybe running low or something like that. Because honestly, the REM pod, it's just, I don't know, it's just, it's, You're that's right. what, Oh, kind of gets me a little bit. It's just the back and forth, you yeah. know? But even like when you're doing the SS method, I stopped it at least two or three times and it just went right back on. See? Uh, that's new though. It's like Morse code. But I don't know more. I don't know Morse code, but that freaking sounds like Morse code if I've ever heard it. If anybody knows Morse code. And there it goes. It's crazy. Okay, I'm gonna take the battery out. I'm gonna test the battery and see if the battery is running low. I just need to do this for my own like peace of mind. Okay, let's see. It's like halfway. Um so, it shouldn't so do it's that. not good, but it's not bad. It's like literally, it's like halfway done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a brand new battery in, and these are brand new batteries, and I'll check it as well before I 
So it's... Oh, it's smoking. <gasps> oh my god. Did you see that? Yeah. I saw the smoke come out of it. That was scary. I can smell it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't feel like I should be touching that. That like legit almost started on fire. Okay, so this is just like a, a Radio Shack, super vintage, but basically you just like check the battery like this. It tells you if it's good or if it's bad. I checked this one, it said good. And uh, I was kind of just was trying to show you guys. I was just about to show you guys. And then it literally just started smoking and it yeah. stinks. I use this thing all the time for all my batteries, for all my equipment. and I've, You just used it last night too. I just used it last night in our investigation. The I kind of want to try it again, but at the, the same time... I started smoking, I'll film you if you want to try it. I don't want to do it because I, I don't want my fingers burnt off. I'm scared. I'm really scared in case it starts a fire. Well, have a cup of water or something near where you can just drop it in the water. I'm sure they believe us. <laughs> so, like, I don't think we have to chance this. Like, burning down Nevada's most... The oldest hotel in Nevada. Oldest hotel in Nevada. Can you hold this cup so I can throw it in? Oh, cool. <laughs> Can't wait. So that's the battery that was in there to begin with. Sorry, I'm moving it about, but you can see the like, so... That's fine, it's not smoking. Maybe the new one is too powerful. This is the one that it done it on. I'm scared. <laughs> No, I'm scared. You're making me do this. It's like Bill Nye the science guy over here. And that's saying good. Yeah. That's the weirdest thing ever. That is that is really, really weird. There's nothing wrong with that. It smelled so bad in here. Like it smelled like a know, like a metal fire, or like chemical fire. Wait a minute. You said something about chemical with the... I did! That actually happens. Chemicals? I did! What was it that I said about that? I don't remember what you said. You said something something chemical. And I, and I remember saying chemical and going, that doesn't make any sense. You know what I mean? Wow. Okay, yeah, that is weird. Did you want to go to your room? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna put this bone back where we find it. Ugh! I just felt like something like touched me like on the leg. Shut up. Well, okay. Oh, I, no, don't freak me out. <laughs> I didn't I didn't ask for anything to touch you on the leg. I was asking for it to tap you on the shoulder and touch you. And when I asked for it to touch you, it was saying like I don't remember exactly what it said. It said something like not yet or in time. Can you touch Jade? Not yet. Will you do it later tonight? wait for the moment it was very much saying not right now but i will tonight oh okay well so. i hope that that was what it was <laughs> i hope that that's the last time i get touched um it honestly just felt like there was a spider on me that's why i kind of freaked out a little bit but there was no spider frisky william that's what we're calling frisky william <laughs> are we taking the rem pod we'll take the rem pod yeah Any demons in here right now? Scratch Jade. Oh, why? Okay, so one thing, if you guys are staying in a hotel, specifically historic hotels, I do not know why this is, but there's usually like writing on like the paintings, like hanging on the walls and stuff like that. Nothing behind this one besides dust. No, you have to like actually look at it though. Okay, well you look, it's dusty. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is this? That's my, that's my candy that's stash. That's a lot of candy. Uh, you know, well, I had to grab and go because somebody was having problems. Okay, we don't talk about that. <laughs> it's funny because behind... <laughs> yeah, like, I just want to get off that topic really fast. I'm going to have a piece of candy now. It's kind of funny though because in the paintings in my room, uh, when I turned them around, it was like Brett and Cindy, like first trip, um, 2017. And it seemed like it was like an anniversary type thing, like they were dating and they were going to be like, we're going to come here every single year for our anniversary and they never made it past 2017. What if you take that off and there's a whole like Shut opening up. behind there? And there's just a face. It's like shh. <laughs> and there's just a man like... Oh my God. Nothing.
great. <laughs> now she can't get it back on. Jim. <laughs> Your room is so crooked, like you can't even see how crooked it is on camera. Oh my god. You, Your great. Bed you broke frame my bed. Fallen off. It's falling off because you broke it off. Now this isn't supposed like a like a well-known haunted room, but I've heard word on the street is that ghosts can walk through walls. So I'm hoping that if there are any spirits in this building, they can make their way into this room. Let me turn the light off. Yeah? If there are any spirits here with us right now, they're probably like, I'm <laughs> getting out of here. Hey, this is a shit show. This is the thing though, is some spirits are very, very playful and they like it when we joke around, they like it when we're having a laugh. <laughs> that is so crooked. It's so crooked. <laughs> I just noticed You put that. it back on so poorly. But I can't tell if it's, the frame is actually probably straight. This entire room just slants. It's crazy, and the and the ceiling is like super slanted. <laughs> it feels like Pee Wee Herman's house. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'll straighten this. <laughs> Can you case not? Case. Oh my god! In case anybody has a butt fetish. This is not OnlyFans. <laughs> I better get paid for that. There is actually a website in where you can like only feet. Is it only feet? <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I think it actually might be only feet <laughs> or something sure. like that. Yeah, and okay, it's okay. I will sell my feet for money. It's like totally a little like topic, but... YouTubers and stuff like that. You'll sell your feet for <laughs> money. <laughs> if somebody wants to see my feet and pay me for it, are you? I'm down. Are you talking about you would sell folds of your feet or sell your actual feet? You look <laughs> just, like a brat. Just doll. photos. Like, but you want to see me like step in chocolate or something like that. <laughs> 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 This episode just I don't know. And it's a night vision as well. It just turned very sexy if you ask me. Okay. Now we've set the mood for the prostitute. Can you come in? <laughs> okay, there's nothing there's no happening. We definitely got some hits in this room, um, but not so much in Michael's room. Tomorrow I will be staying in room 4, which is said to be haunted by Rosie. Um, so let's see if we can try and make more communication with her tomorrow. Right now, I'm just tired and I want to go to bed. So um, hopefully nothing goes on fire when I'm sleeping tonight. That's me signing off tonight, but I will be back tomorrow investigating room number 4. Welcome back to- oh wait, I'm not saying welcome back. It is night two and as you can see I am in a different room. This one's pink because now I'm in Rosie's room. Now Rosie is said to be a prostitute who lived in this room. She lived and worked out of this room right here. This was her original bed and she <laughs> died of too many orgasms. <laughs> Okay, we, we don't know how she died, um, but she was a lady of the night and uh, she has been known to flicker lights in the background here. This one has been flickering all night long. So, I mean, I don't know if it's an electrical thing or if it's actually paranormal, but we are here to look into that a little bit further and hopefully we can make some communication with Rosie. That's why I'm here, to entice her. <laughs> you have more cash on you. So what we could do is we could put some Exactly. You can tell that you've never done that before, Gerald. <laughs> oh, excuse me. What? Who kicked your ass in pool last night? Hmm? Yeah, so we had um, a game of pool last night, and yes, I did uh, put on my Instagram story who wins at pool, and everybody voted for me pretty much. I think you had 11 votes, and I think I was a. You, yeah, you had 11 votes, and I think I had like 90 votes to win. Okay, well, those 90 people can go f <laughs> Okay, none of that's getting put in. I will get to the investigation in just a moment. I do need to tell you guys a really weird story that did happen. So, I was in room uh, five two nights ago. I thought that I was coming into this room and I wasn't. I was going into room three, which was directly right across from Michael's room. So I packed up my stuff and I was in room three and I was in there for about an hour. And room four and five, 
this room here and the one next door that I was staying in. Um, the room doors were open because they were waiting to be cleaned. And then that's when I kind of decided, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go and take the bone off of the mirror and I'm going to take it out of the room. I'm going to put it in room three. And actually, one thing that I was going to do with the bone, like later on down the line, maybe for your birthday, Michael, I was going to like think of like a prank, like put it in a box and give you it for your birthday and like really freak you out. Just what, I wanted. <laughs> what ended up happening was I took the bone out and I was in the room for about five minutes and then I heard this massive slam. Of course, it was a door slamming down the hall. I opened the door and it was actually room four, the one that I'm in tonight. The door had literally slammed by itself. So we knew that there was nobody in here. So we came down the hall and I opened the door and looked around and um, this door was closed and the window was shut as well. There was no draft. There was no reason for the door to slam like that. And I just think it's weird that it was literally just a few minutes after I had taken the bone out of room number five. So we done our research on what it means if there's a bone above a mirror. And um, apparently if a mirror is a said portal to another realm and evil entities can come through, sometimes people will actually put a bone on top of the mirror to serve as kind of like a protection. But we didn't find that out till later on. And um, now the bone is in my room and I don't know what I've done, but. I think I may have stirred some things up. Mm-hmm. You're cursed. I'm gonna follow you home. Oh, what, you, why'd you have to go there? So earlier I took a bath. Um, I will say this though, like there was a moment where I just felt like my head was gonna get shoved under the water and just drown here and this is where I die. Get a little spookier in here. Okay, so I'm sitting in Rosie's chair right now. Rosie, if you're here with me, can you talk through this device right here? Rosie, if you're here with me right now, can you go over, touch the... Wait for you. Wait for you. It sounded like something, wait for you. Rosie, if you're here, can you make a tapping noise on this window behind me? Can you appear in the window behind me, Rosie? Oh, did you hear that? It sounded just like, ah. You know what, we do the spirit portal all the time. What I want to do is the necrophonic app. I've not done that on my channel in so long, so. I just want to welcome any spirits that are here with us tonight. If you want to step forward and make communication with us, we would love to hear what your story is. Do we release anything when we remove the bone from the mirror? Me. Did you mm -hmm. hear that? I thought I heard bone right before that as well. I thought I heard bone. Me. <laughs> that was not on purpose. Really. <laughs> that was not on purpose. <laughs> I can't believe I just said that. <laughs> Jade. Jade. And I heard that. I heard your name. Yes. Hello. My name is Jade. Yes. You're talking to me. Yeah. He's here. He's here. Or it's here? I, it was either it's here or it's him. I feel like there's somebody here with us right now. Now we got you in the room. I want you to come forward. I want you to make a knock noise for us. Tap something, knock something over. Knock. Did you hear him? I did. You can keep the necrophonic app on if you want. But remember last time we checked the um, photos? I want to see if there's anything written on this one because this one, she's been staring at me all day and she's freaking me out. Oh, we have stuff written. Ghosts come keep our lonely heart happy. We love you. Seven, 17 months till the end of the world. <laughs> Fuck. Does right. I have a date? She's gonna fall in the middle of the night. Who? That picture's gonna fall? Why would you say that? Mm -hmm. If that falls in the middle of the night, I'm literally, I'm, I'm never investigating with you ever again, you voodoo witch. I feel like something is going to happen to you tonight. Why would you say that? I just have a feeling, and as I say that, I, I get like goosebumps. I would set your night vision camera up and just let it record a little bit when you go to sleep. 
Wow, you're like serious that something's gonna happen tonight. Michael is gone. I sent him back to his room. So uh, we have to be up early tomorrow. Um, to be honest, I know it doesn't seem like I've done a very long investigation in this room. Um, we tried to investigate for a good like two hours in here. And to be honest, like the REM pod hasn't went off. Like really nothing has happened. Michael was like adamant that something was going to happen tonight. So Basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, for the first time on my channel, I'm gonna film myself in night vision, sleeping, and see if anything happens during the night. I'm really, really nervous for that. Um, but yeah, hopefully nothing happens during the night. But he is saying, put your night vision camera on. So I'm gonna just listen to him and trust him. Rosie, if you're here, can you make a tapping noise on this window behind me? What the fuck? Boy, that really was a show!